This is where I have my massage. I'm here and I'm super excited, y'all. Can't wait. I deserve to this. I so it was Blondie that did my massage, and I did a Swedish massage with a foot peel. She touched every part that needed to be touched. Like, guys, ever since I came from the north, that was in December, early January. I have been feeling tired because if you know where I'm from, Angola, the work is a lot, the village side of Angola, it's a lot and I was just exhausted and I've been postponing to have this like for the longest time and I'm not doing it and I did it and she touched everybody, I'm so happy, yo. Hello powerhouses, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I have missed you guys, I must say. But anyways, today let's dive right, dive right into the video. Today we're going to talk about self-love. What is self-love? How does one gain self-love? Why do we need self-love in our lives? That's what we're going to talk about today. I'm shooting live from Yoni Medi Spa. I just had my spa. Oh, it was so awesome. But that's a story for another day. Anyways, like I was saying, today we're talking about self-love. What is self-love? Honestly, what is self-love? Do you have self-love in your life? For me, I will define self-love as being who you truly are, being true to yourself, and doing what truly makes you happy, and not making other people happy, and not being or putting this certain image that you put out so that people can portray you a certain way that is not self-love self-love is standing up for yourself and being who you are genuinely i'm somebody that's very different maybe unique not really everybody is unique but my point is in a group of my friends i'm very different i am loud i'm 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 what i'm outspoken i'm everything right but so, so different from my friends all my other friends have their own characteristics and which is totally fine right i'm that person that doesn't worry i go get what i want to do um go get what i want i do something called what i want and that's not because uh, stop being full of yourself it's being who you are and being true to yourself i've been in instances where my friends would for example want to be going out and they'd be like this year you're joining us and because i know where i stand financially or where i stand with my time and i'll say i can't make it and it's totally fine and that's where when you know where to draw boundaries with yourself that's what i would call self-love firstly again i'll say to you, it's when you know who you are what you like what works for you and what doesn't work for you then you know when to set your boundaries when you have self-love you know what you want in your life and nobody can come from anywhere trying to come and bullshit you around they can't come bullshit you around because girl or guy gent you know what you want you know what you want in your life you know what you want to pursue you know what suits you what aligns with you what does not align with you now that is self-love how do you gain self-love first and foremost you need to sit down with yourself and have an introspection of yourself who am i what's my purpose what do i like what don't i like what am i not gonna fucks with what bullshit am i not gonna allow what am i gonna do to make me happy or what do i do to make me happy what makes me happy you define all these things to yourself and then you know that hey this is who i am this is what i want and this is what aligns with what my goal and this is what doesn't align with my goal that's how you develop self-love if you know who you are and some gent come ask you out 
and can't live by your terms and tells you that no, you are setting the bar too high. Bar too high for who, nigga? If you can't live up to my standards, if you can't come reach the bar where I am, then hey, go somewhere else. It's that simple. And you're not going to allow people to come and post it. Because you know what? You, are, you cannot allow a friend to come and tell you what to do, an employer to come and tell you what to do in your life. Then if you're allowing people to come and do things in your life, then you do not love yourself. You do not know what you want. And honestly, that is self-love to me, being who you are genuinely. And when you practice self-love, you will be happy. When you do not move with the crowd, but move with what is right, you will be happy. And when you are happy, you are practicing self-love. If you love reading and your friend does not love reading, you now stop reading because your friend says, do not read then. Are you being true to yourself? I mean, you get love from reading, you get therapy from reading. And now somebody tells you, I do not like it when you read books and you're going to stop reading books. Is that love? No, self-love doesn't have to come even in monetary terms. Self-love is what happens in your day-to-day -day life. What makes you happy? What do you do at the end of the day when you run down your day and say, oh my God, this is what I have achieved. Oh, oh wow, this is what I have done. That is self-love. That's what makes you happy. The small things that make you happy, that is self-love. And when you allow, you don't allow other people to come and do certain things to you, that is self-love. And there are so many other ways that you can show yourself love. And number one is by standing up for yourself. It's saying no. It's knowing who you are and just doing what really, really makes you happy. When you follow that, you will practice self-love. And when you know who you are, you will be happy. You will be able to love the next person. You will be able to love your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You will be able to love these people because you love yourself and you are content with yourself. Self-love is being content with yourself and not being in a relationship or in a friendship or in a situation that asks so much of you and it feels exhausting. It's not supposed to be exhausting. It's supposed to happen flawlessly. If it is not happening flawlessly, then girl, there is a problem. Oh boy, oh boy, we have a very big, big, big problem. So for me, how do I practice self-love? I love myself, honey. I love myself and I know what I want. You cannot come into my life and come and do things and you think I'm going to allow you to stay. You who, especially when you oh, cross my boundaries or especially when you don't respect me and what I say. I know there's a certain point where you compromise. Yes, I do compromise. I'm not saying I don't compromise. But there are those people that just come into your life and want to come and bullshit you around. I don't allow bullshit. I'm very sorry. And if you, if you know me personally, you know I don't allow bullshit. My family knows me. I do not allow bullshit. My parents know I do not allow bullshit at all. And that's because I love myself and I know what I want and I know where I'm going. And so many times my vision doesn't align with those closest to me, but they don't have to understand. As long as I know I'm on the right track, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know if it's going to work out, but as long as I know it's the right thing and I'm on the right track and I'm following my heart, as long as it's not illegal or it's some occultic things, I'm definitely going for it. Nobody has to understand it. Maybe one day you'll understand. If you also don't understand, it's fine. How do I practice self-love? Firstly, I stand up for myself. I A, what I want to say. I do not keep out things. Be it in my family, friendships, relationship, I talk. And that makes me happy and content to say I've had my opinion. We reach a consensus or you understand what I'm saying. I listen to you and we understand that. That for me is already practicing self-love. And another form of my self-love is reading. I was even just reading my book earlier. Yo, this is my March read day. I'm already in April and I'm not even nowhere close and I'm, I'm not going to find the universe because I, I said I want to read a book each and every month but I'm not going to find it. I'll eventually finish the book and I'll get another book for March, I mean April or May read. Anyways, I read every day. It's so therapeutic and it brings out uh, a form of me. It teaches me so much and it brings out love within me and I just love doing it. Secondly, I love to meditate. Just sitting down and visualizing my highest self, the queen that I think I am. That's why my cousin even calls me Mina. I'm Zari. Zari. Yeah, so I visualize myself and I know now where I want to do. I get my vision. So every day, my day to day must align with that vision and help me where I'm going. Right. So I also do that. So the meditating, yeah, I'm like meditating, put on my meditating music and I'm there and I'm meditating and I'm God. I do that. And it brings out the best in me, honestly. And then also I try to treat myself here and there. I told myself I'm not going to do shopping in 2022. I don't want to spend my clothes on 2022. I mean, my money on shore clothes in 2022. I have a lot of clothes unless I give those away. And then I'm trying to save money, man. I'm trying to be financially wise this year. 
you understand so i'm not buying clothes but i do treat myself to books when i buy a book that's self-love for me when i come out like this when i do things that make me happy when i do things individually when i do things on my own because i'm trying to discover every part of myself especially before i go into the adulthood i don't want to go give birth to kids that are traumatized because of me not knowing what i want who i want and you know it's very you know how our parents did these things to us i don't want that that's why i'm using this my 20s later i mean early 30s just to to find myself discover myself so i come out like this i always try to come out to the spot because i know i made my uh, an objective to come every three months every three months so yeah this is the first of a 2022 last year i went for soul styles and yeah but i've got a list of the spots i want to tick off so watch out next i have a surprise it's not soul styles it's not unique medi spa it's not uni medi spa or day spa it's another spa so watch out for it but my point this year i show myself love to buy myself books whether i read them or i don't read them going out and treating myself like this like to solo dates that's what i do to just i deserve it man like one goes through a lot every day there's so much that happens and i'm just like i need a break from time to time but what i do mostly especially maybe like in a month and twice a month it's cool just sit somewhere order a glass of wine and read my book that's what i do but then i'm also incorporating the the spas something every three months and then also my day-to-day reading visualizing meditating and journaling i love to journal that's how i show myself love and it's self-love in the sense that it brings out the best out of me it it brings out things that were lying dormant within me they come out and then i'm just like wow so that's how i discover myself and that's how i get to learn to love myself every day and to remain sane because fuck <laughs> there is a lot going on in this world and if you're not sane enough yo you will lose it so you need to spend time with yourself you need to love yourself you need to understand yourself you need to know what you want what you're doing and if you're on the right path so you can continue going otherwise you'll end up gallivanting lost not knowing what you want where you are and it's very that's how we slowly lead ourselves into an unhappy life and into depression so again i say to me you love yourself and you can show it through the most ways maybe if you like eating and it's a sense it's your love language to yourself go and eat prepare yourself for that meal if you love cooking prepare that meal do whatever you want to do just do it man go out and love yourself and set those boundaries know who you are know what you want and i'm still on the journey of discovering myself i have a long way to go <laughs> and i'm gonna go from the village what does she know about self-love as yet so i'm still learning about a lot and i'm definitely 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 loving it but i'm just saying i can't wait to the point where i am just jay the girl i think i am because my name is this day yeah damn get in i don't listen to my bullshit but yeah that's also another way i show myself love or try to bring the best out of me i say positive affirmations i am beautiful i am bold i am sexy too bad you can't see with the gown but yes i am sexy i'm brilliant i'm amazing i'm attractive i'm a, i'm more than a conqueror i'm worth it you know what i'm enough i mean i'm a whole package hmm? Hmm? i am anointed i am blessed i'm grateful i'm thankful i am what god says i am and i will get there so powerhouses go out and love yourself do whatever you define what whatever you think love is do what you think brings out the best and the love in you for yourself love yourself know yourself do something called what you want that aligns with your goals and your objectives and where you want to go so that you can get rid of all those other things that don't matter in your life man because life is too short to be pleasing people and when you don't know what you want when you don't have self love that's when you end up loving other people and pleasing them you need to be very careful in a world full of fake people in a world full of social media you are going to lose it and as you know maki it's going to be a little bit too late so start now go to therapy some people show themselves love through ser- therapy i would love therapy but hey the, the other thing i want to do is yoga though 
but I'll see. But with that said, I'm going to leave you again with my favorite ending quote. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. This is from uh, Ralph Emerson. Swinging. Oh guys, now I'm just gonna relax in the garden and read. Swinging. That's my foot that has been peeled. <laughs> oh yeah, this tea is really great by the way. It's very great tea. Ooh, lovely.